See? Note to self, wasted chocolate. Hey y'all, this is Beth with Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. And today we have the hair in a bun because it's time to cook. Yes, we are going to be making a very simple, but very beautiful and super yummy, simple sweet treat. We're going to be making white chocolate dipped pretzel rods. So let's get into the kitchen. Okay y'all, let's see how this is going to work. I've actually never filmed a cooking video before, but I've had several of my friends ask for these sweet treats and I thought that I would let you guys see how easy they are to make. And today I'm going to walk you step by step in how to do it and show you some ways to avoid some pitfalls in making these. So here's what you're going to need. I have already cleaned and sanitized my workstation and I have washed my hands. I also like to put down some wax paper because we are going to be dealing with chocolate and I want it to be able to dry as we're making these. So let me put down our wax paper. All right. The only other things that you're going to need are pretzel rods. Can y'all see those? These are just some of this particular brand pretzel rods, but you do not have to use this brand. I know that Walmart has its own brand. These just happen to be on sale for $2.50 for one bag. And you're also going to need some white chocolate or almond bark. Now, if you wanna put flavoring in yours, that's fine, you can do so. But I'm gonna add some decorations to mine. Um, and you won't need this whole thing of this for one bag of pretzels. The only other thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna use some red and white sprinkles and I'm gonna use some green and white sprinkles. And I also may use a few of these festive sprinkles as well. So I'm gonna put those over to the side. The only other thing that I need is I use a cup, a tall coffee cup that can go in the microwave because the pretzel rod, let me open them up. Sorry for the noise. The pretzel rods are long, so I like to get a lot of chocolate on my pretzel rod, so in doing so, I like to use a, a tall mug, but I'm gonna show you how to get even more chocolate on there than that. So let's start by taking out all of the pretzel rods from the bag. pretzel rods are out and laying up here um, in a straight line ready for me to pull them and get them started. I will say this was a great bag of pretzels. There was only one that was broken. However, I still use those. Uh, one of the things that I learned at one of my shows was that when people buy the pretzels rods, there are two in a pack um, and they want to share them with someone else someone gets the end with chocolate and someone gets the end that doesn't have chocolate. So um, what I started doing was saving the longer broken pieces and dipping both of those and decorating both of those and putting maybe four or six pieces in the bag instead. And they actually were a really great seller. So I use all the pieces of the pretzels, even the little tiny ones, because let's be honest, you might wanna try one here or there. So the next step is to take your almond bark out. I start with about three to four blocks. And so I break it down, it's already sectioned off, and I break it apart in the bag or in the container, and then I open it up and I drop it down into my coffee cup. Now I'll start with about three, maybe four, since I'm doing a whole bag. And um, I will put it in the microwave. 
I will do one minute first. So here's our chocolate in our mug. I will do one minute, then I will stir it. You do not want to do it too, too long because it will burn the chocolate um, and it makes it really hard and really gummy. So let me put this in the microwave and I'll be right back. Okay, here's what our chocolate looks like after just one minute in the microwave. The cup will still be hot, so please be careful. I actually use a butter knife to stir it just a little bit. And as you can see, we need much more time. So I'm gonna do another minute and then take it out and stir it again. But how yummy does that chocolate look? Okay guys, check this out. I did actually stopped it at 30 seconds um, because I didn't wanna burn it. And you can tell if it is done melting because it will almost be a thick liquid like. So here's what it is gonna look like. I can't really tell what you guys can see. So I'm gonna show you the best that I can. And it will be liquidy, but it's a little bit thick, okay? So this looks like it's good to go. I'm gonna continue to stir it. Now if your chocolate, if you work a little bit slower and your chocolate starts to harden up, go ahead and put it back in the microwave for 15 to 20 seconds and stir it again. One of the things to caution you about is if you've never worked with chocolate before, do not get any water in your chocolate. It will ruin your chocolate, it'll make it into clumps, and so you won't be able to use that. All right, so let's talk about how to dip a pretzel rod. It's really easy. So you're going to just take your pretzel rod, these are not very straight, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to lean the mug over a little bit, and I'm going to rotate and turn, almost having it pour completely out. Can you see that I'm kind of scooping it? Now here's where a lot of people, um, they just pick it up and put it down on the wax paper. But if you can see, it's still dripping off. One of the things that I like to do is just shake it until all the excess comes off. And to make it extra yummy, I actually dip it one more time. So it gets a double coating of chocolate. And the key to this is you do need to let the excess run off because I will do one without letting the excess run off and I'll show you what will happen to that. Um, so it does take a minute. It is just a time consuming, not a lot of time, but it is time consuming just to make it right. Now, another piece that I didn't mention that I use is a little bowl. And I'll show you why in a second, because when you're, if you're wanting to add any type of sprinkle to your pretzel stick, you will want to um, have something that it can go into as it falls off. So it doesn't go all over your floor because that is a disaster and very hard to clean. So, you see how it's still actively dripping? I just keep shaking it a little bit. Now, while I'm opening the sprinkles, I'm actually gonna hold the stick up. So I wanna make sure that you guys can see, see what I'm doing. Over the bowl, I'm simply going to lightly shake on our sprinkles. And I'm just gonna keep going around until all of it is covered. Now, one of the reasons that you take the excess chocolate off of it is because when you're holding it down to shake the the sprinkles on there the chocolate will actually drop down in there so you want to avoid that so this is nice and coated so i'm simply gonna lay it over to the side and let it dry and we'll go on to the next one so we're going again and it can keep the salt on there that's part of the yumminess but we're going to lean it over almost as if we're pouring it out And that's the first coating. Let it drip off. These are actually very, very simple and easy. Then I'll do another coating. See how I almost poured it out? <laughs> but that's okay. I want it really as far up the, the um, pretzel as I can get it. So if I just started pouring my sprinkles over, you see that the chocolate would be dripping down into um, the rest of the sprinkles. And you can actually reuse those sprinkles that fell off while you were 
coating the first couple. So I'm gonna wait until it really, once I start shaking it and nothing else drips off, that's when I know. Turn it upside down, hold it up like this so that when you sprinkle and just lightly sprinkle, it'll cover, it'll catch on there. You're gonna lightly sprinkle it, making sure that you rotate to cover it all, and then you will put it to the side. I'm not really sure if you can see them to the side over there, but they're there, I'll show you. Now see, this is where the excess is falling in, much better than falling all over your counter because what happens is it bounces and ends up on your floor. So I will just keep doing these and I will speed up the video so that I can get several of these done and we'll move on to the next color. Okay guys, I got a little bit more chocolate in this one and this is gonna be my last one to do for the red and white. Can you see that? I'm trying to let y'all see it without me pouring it everywhere. So this is the first one. It's getting a little bit thicker now, so it is about time to add some more, a little bit. I'm having to lean the cup a little bit more. So I'm. Um, it's time to add some, whoa, there it went. Um, let me do this one. And I poured it on the, wax paper, but that's better than pouring it on my kitchen counter. Not like they're new or anything. The kitchen is the only piece of the house that we did not get to renovate and simply because I needed a break from construction. If you've ever had a house renovation or even just had it painted, you know that there are sometimes it's getting pretty thick. There are sometimes you just need a break from people being in your house. So, we will get to the kitchen when we get to it. All right, one of the things that I wanted to show you is that all of these extras that are left, if you will hold this up and hold it over, you can simply pick them up and sprinkle them on um, like this, just to use the extra sprinkles. So please, again, make sure that we are washing hands frequently if you're going to do it like this. Um, I usually wash my hands in between every one if I do it this way. So um, that's just because I can't stand it on my hands and it's sticky. <laughs> so we get it good and covered, but as you can see, look at the mess. So I will, if you can see them, they are right here and they are going to need to dry. So let me clean up my mess and we'll start with the green ones. Okay, y'all, I've added two more blocks of chocolate and heated it for about a minute and then stirred and then 30 more seconds and we got a good consistency. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to use these green sprinkles here, if you guys can see those. And they're just like the red ones, but what I like to do is pair a red and a green in the same package because I think it's very festive and fun. So again, just gonna lean it. Be careful because the chocolate is very hot and there's nothing like getting hot scalding chocolate on you. So again, dipping it one time, rolling it again, letting all of the excess come off and just lightly shake it, it'll, it'll fall, fall down. Like I said, in between each one, I um, usually wash my hands and take the bowl and wash the bowl, but because the bowl is wet, I gotta get a new bowl. So um, we'll take these, we'll let that drip off. We'll open up our green. Holding it this way with the chocolate at the top, we're just gonna lightly sprinkle over the bowl. 
because as you can probably see, it is jumping all over the place. So sometimes I tap it, especially if it's um, not, if it's going all over my counter, I, and then my floor. <laughs> so I just tap it and they will come out um, just the same. So now there is your beautiful green one. Gonna lay it right beside the red ones. I'm gonna move the broken pieces over here to make room for some more green ones at this top piece. And we're going to do the next one. So it is the same process. I always coat them twice and then make sure that I get the excess chocolate off. I am gonna show you at the end with the broken one why we get the excess chocolate off. Um, it just actually makes it prettier and um, not as messy, but if you're just doing them to eat and for them to be enjoyed by your family, you guys probably just don't care <laughs> if they have excess chocolate on them. I mean, after all, that's the best part, right? So I'm going to finish the green ones and then we're going to use a different um, sprinkle because with a different weighted sprinkle, sometimes it will actually pull the chocolate back off. So I will finish up these and we will come back to show you the end. here are the green ones and the red ones see how pretty that will be when we put them all together let's go on to use a different sprinkle we'll use these very colorful sprinkles now i still have a little bit of chocolate in here and i'm gonna try to make do with that if you can see i don't know if you can see but it's still pretty good Oop, see note to self wasted chocolate so we know that it's still good. So we will keep turning and coating the pretzel one time. I guess we can't cry over spilt chocolate, can we? Let's see, can you see this? And we will coat it two times. Now with the different weighted sprinkles, there are some that are very fine, like a fine sugar, and the red and the green that I'm using is more like a coarse sugar. When you get the heavier sprinkles, um, sometimes you need to let the chocolate actually set up a bit before putting it on there. So I had to stop and get me a new bowl, and we are going to and you see how these bounce? Oh gosh, I wish y'all could see this. But they, I just tap these because I don't know if you can see them, but they literally bounce out of the bowl. So, oh, nightmare. But they're beautiful. So, you know, you suffer through it, right? So this is what this one will look like. It's very festive. Put that one down here. And I will just keep going. I may have to get a little bit more chocolate. Again, I'd probably put one to two blocks in here, heat it for 30 seconds, uh, stir it, and then heat it for another 15 to 20 seconds since there's already some chocolate in there. And that one's good and coated. So we will let this drain off. And these make great little quick um, gifts. Just put two in a little pretzel rod bag and I'll show you that at the end. Um, I'm gonna let them dry. You let them air dry to let the chocolate harden. And then um, you can pull them off of the wax paper and put them straight into the little pretzel rod bags. They actually make pretzel rod bags and um, tie them up with a bow 
and they are good to go as a little sweet treat gift. So I'm going to keep making these and try not to make a complete and utter mess and um, I will show you at the end. Okay, this is the very last one that of the full pretzel rods and I'm getting it all coated up. Can y'all even see that? Oh, I'm so sorry. There we go, that's the first coat. Get it all dripped off. Let's do a second coating. Let me make sure that y'all can see it this time. Jeez, it's the whole purpose. So you can see that you really need to, you can kind of like dip down in and cover it. So I had run out of these sprinkles and what I did was I just took the top off of this container and I funneled them from the bowl back into the shaker so that um, they would go on nice and evenly. And I could finish out. Oh, I see I'm bouncing everywhere, y'all. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. And I feel them crunching behind, but underneath my feet. So definitely be vacuuming after, after this one too. So, all right. So that's the end of these. I am going to see if I can put just a little more on this side. Now, again, make sure that you're washing your hands, that your work area remains clean. Now, can you do these with chocolate? Uh, milk chocolate chocolate yes you can i don't think they taste as good but i just like the combination of white chocolate and uh pretzels so let me show you what happens when you don't let it drip off so if i just dip and i'm just going to use this broken one if i just dip this one and i don't let it drip off when I lay it on the counter, if you will watch it, it spreads out. So it'll it'll keep running off of the pretzel rod and you get lots more chocolate on the sides. Let me see if you guys can see that at all. You'll get more chocolate on the side. It'll keep, because of gravity, it'll keep pulling it off of there. And you won't have very much chocolate on the side of your, on your actual pretzels, you'll have more on the table <laughs> so even with the little ones i like to coat them two times with this one i'm sure we'll just eat these up but um it'll be a snack for lovey he likes these and so i will coat them twice let it down let it drip off let it shake off and drip off and then I will lay these over here. So they're all dipped and they're all sprinkled and I have got to clean up and vacuum yet again. <laughs> um, I can't stand all that stickiness, but I will clean up my area while I let these dry. I will come back and show you how I put them in packages and tie them up with a little ribbon. So stay tuned for the final rest. Okay, y'all, we are back and it's been about 30 minutes or so and the pretzel rods are all dry. Um, the really thick ones that I did at the very end, they're a little tacky still, but the rest of these are dry. So it's time to put them in our bags. These are pretzel bags that I get at Walmart. There are 20 in a pack and they come with the little twist ties here. So I actually have a few open already. And I was just going to show you really quickly how I would tie those up. I have a few that are already open and I've got the little twist ties and I have some dollar store ribbon, really cute little ribbon. So all you're going to do is take your pretzel rod bag and open it up. You can see how this one wasn't really dry. Look how much extra is on there, but I don't think anybody will mind extra goodies. So I'm going to put a green and a red side by side. And because the pretzel rods are bent, they're not going to be exact. So that's how they'll look in the package. I will take my little 
twist tie at the top. I try to seal it pretty tight. These will um, stay fresh for a little over a week, especially when they're tied up. So that's really good for a snack. And cut a little piece of ribbon. Tie it. Just one little knot will do. Sometimes I like to put a crease in my bow by just bending it and snipping it. So just a crease in the bow or a ribbon, sorry, and snip it at the angle down. And you have your little pretzel rod decorated. So then I would go and continue to add, I might add one of these with a red one, or you could do a green one with one of the sparkled ones. Now, a lot of people have ordered these in school colors. I've had some orders for school colors um, as graduation parties or baby showers. I did a sprinkle shower once for um, a second baby. And we had these as a takeaway gift, but they are super cute. You can use any kind of ribbon. You can use the curling ribbon or you can use a Christmas ribbon or just a plain colored ribbon. Um, especially if you are doing school colors, you can use any kind of ribbon like that. So that is your white chocolate dip pretzels. Little sweet treat, super, super easy. Anyone can do it. So if you enjoy this type of content, if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I will be doing additional simple treats, simple, easy, sweet treats, as well as some easy DIYs along with our thrifting and shopping, shop along videos. So make sure you hit that notification bell so that you will get notified when I post a video as well as when I go live because I am gonna be having some more live sales in 2021. So thanks so much for watching y'all. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet.